Hey lightweights, here's what you can expect from today's episode of Mass Effect. I suppose you're right. Well, good luck. Let me know what he said. I feel like there's more to this story. Like, did you steal something? Or did you make something that he didn't agree with? Like a weapon? Her sister's 100% in on this. Her sister is just trying to find a way to make money. Okay, so we have a couple more people that we need to finish talking to on the Normandy, and then we're going to head to the Citadel. Hey, Commander. Looking for some extra supplies before you head out? What have you got? Whatever you want. Armor, weapons, mods. It's not standard Alliance issue, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. Well, as long as you don't mind paying for it. Why should I pay you for my weapons and armor? My <gasps> stuff doesn't come from the Alliance. I have to purchase it myself, and it's not cheap. Hell, the licenses alone have set me back more than I'd like. But no licenses, no goods. Without the goods, I'm out of a job. Let's see what you've got. You bet, Commander. Okay, what can we sell? <laughs> Will it tell me if I have it equipped? Sell all junk. Oh, I have to mark it as junk first. <laughs> well, I don't even know. What is all this that I have? Okay, I need to I need to not do this right now. We'll figure that out later. Can I see? How do I see? Oh, equipment. So we're not really going to be using the assault rifle for long, right? Because we're going to focus on the shotgun and the handgun or pistol or whatever. Biotic amp. I have no idea what I'm going to want to use. So the Banshee and the Avenger are not on. Okay, I'll figure that out later. Commander, nice work out there. I knew working with the Spectre would be better than life at CSAC. Have you worked with the Spectre before? Well, no, but I know what they're like. <laughs> Spectres make their own rules. You're free to handle things your way. At CSAC, you're buried by rules. The damn bureaucrats are always on your back. For the most part, the rules are there for a reason. Maybe. But sometimes it feels like the rules are only there to stop me from doing my work. If I'm trying to take down a suspect, it shouldn't matter how I do it, as long as I do it. But CSEC wants it done their way. Protocol and procedure come first. That's why I left. So you just quit because you didn't like the way they do things? There's more to it than that. It didn't start out bad, but as I rose in ranks, I got saddled with more and more red tape. c -Sex handling of Saren was typical. I just couldn't take it anymore. I hate leaving. I hope you made You'll the get right over choice. It. <laughs> I'd hate for you to regret it later. Well, that's sort of why I teamed up with you. It's a chance for me to get off the Citadel, see how things are done outside c -Sex. Either way, I plan to make the most of this. And without c -Sex headquarters looking over my shoulder, Maybe I can get the job done my way for a change. Ah. On one hand, I want to say it sounds good to me because I agree. The way they handled Saren, not a fan. But also, we don't need you rampaging around and turning into another Saren. So it's like, what do you? I don't know you well enough for this. If getting the job done means endangering innocent people, then no. Exactly. We get the job done right, not fast. Got it? I wasn't trying to. I understand, Commander. I like you, Garrus, but we gotta make sure... We gotta make sure we are staying within some bounds. 
of rules here. Shepard, what can I do for you? What's your story, Rex? There's no story. <laughs> Good talk. Go ask the Quarian if you want stories. Don't be an ass. You Krogans live for centuries. Don't tell me you haven't had a few interesting adventures. Well, there was this one time the Turians almost wiped out our entire race. That was fun. <laughs> I heard about that. You know, they almost did the same to us. It's not the same. It seems pretty much the same to me. So your people were infected with a genetic mutation? An infection that makes only a few in a thousand children survive birth? <sighs> And I suppose it's destroying your entire species? I suppose it isn't all the same. I don't expect you to understand, but don't compare humanity's fate with the Krogan. Sorry, Rex. I wasn't trying to get you upset. Your ignorance doesn't upset me, Shepard. As for the Krogan, I gave up on them long ago. The genophage infected us, but it's not what's killing us. What can you tell me about the genophage? Ask the Salarians if you want details. They made it. All I know, it makes breeding nearly impossible. Thousands die <laughs> in stillbirth, and most never get that far. I hate that. Every Krogan is infected. Every one. And no one's rushing to find a cure. Why don't the Krogan try to find a cure? When was the last time you saw a Krogan scientist? You ask a Krogan, would he rather find a cure for the genophage or fight for credits? He'll choose fighting every time. It's just who we are, Shepard. I can't change that. Nobody can. Are your people really dying? We're sure not getting any stronger. We're too spread out. None of us are interested in staying in our own system. So... So long, Rex. Shepard. Uh, I didn't want to say the so, because that seemed, like, bitchy. But now I feel like I missed dialogue. Do we have a Solarian? Oh, that's cool. So I can change what they have equipped even if I don't have them on my squad. Hmm, accuracy rating 15. Everybody has a... Ew! Okay, wait, so let's go to Rex, because I know that we have armor that he can use. We don't have an armor he can use. Why can't he use this? Oh, because it's heavy. Oh. Hmm. So that's what he has, basically, already. Shields are a bit better. Biotic protection is lower. I think I like the armor he has on better. None of my peeps can wear heavy armor yet. I think I'm just gonna mark all that as Jeff. Commander? What's your opinion of the last mission? Not sure I buy Dr. Tassoni's story about her and her mom not talking. They're family, right? I think she's being straight with us. Or at least I don't think she lies very often. Yeah, she's probably really bad at it. 
Hey, want me to ask her about her sex life? Might be illuminating. Girl! <sighs> I don't think she's used to teasing. Good-natured or otherwise. No fun, Commander. Ashley. Too bad Keep the drama off my destroyed. ship. I mean, they lasted thousands of years. That's impressive. Do you have a few minutes to talk? One-on-one? -on -one? Sure. I, I was hoping to get a minute of your time off the record. I keep an open door policy. If you have any concerns, lay them on me. All right. I, I know things are different aboard the Normandy, but uh, I'm I'm concerned about the aliens, Vicarian and Rex. We have a bunch of racists, Vice Commander. Should they have full access to the ship? They may not serve the Alliance Chief, but they're allies, at least as far as Saren goes. This is the most advanced ship in the Alliance Navy. I don't think we should give them free reign to poke around the vital systems. Engines, sensors, weapons. You're out of line! You don't trust the Alliance's allies? I'm not sure I'd call the Council races allies. We, humanity, I mean, have to learn to rely on ourselves. This is, it's interesting seeing the deep-seated mistrust between the humans and the other alliances. And I know there's reasons for it. I understand that, but it is, it's really interesting just seeing how deep that mistrust goes. Standing up for ourselves doesn't mean standing alone. I don't think we should turn down allies. I just think we shouldn't bet everything on them staying allies. As noble as the council members seem now, if their backs are against the wall, they'll abandon us. I don't see that as inevitable. Look, if you're fighting a bear and the only way for you to survive is to sick your dog on it and run, you'll do it. As much as you love your dog, it isn't human. It's not racism, not really. Sounds like Members it to me. Of their species will always be more important to them than humans are. These seem like deeply held beliefs, Williams. What made you think this way? My family's defended the Alliance since it was founded. My father, grandfather, great-grandmother, they all picked up a rifle and swore the oath of service. I guess we just tend to think of Earth's interests as our own. All right, I can see where your concerns are coming from, Williams. But this is a multilateral mission. You're gonna have to work with aliens, like it or not. It won't be a problem, Commander. You say jump, I say how high. You tell me to kiss a Turian, I'll ask which cheek. I don't think kissing Turians will be necessary. Unless you want you never to. Never know, Commander. Dismissed, Chief. Ma'am. All right. So I think... I think that's everybody. I feel like our posture is really bad. <laughs> Way. One of these days I'll learn my way around my own ship. Today is not that day. Talk to you already. Those guys don't want to talk. Okay. Read up on all these planets already. I think I did. Okay, where's the Oh my god, I just forgot. I forgot how much there is in the spacey area. Zoom out even more. Oh, just kidding. <laughs> Zoom out of the map! Okay, the Milky Way. So we can only go to the Milky Way galaxy. All right, 
right, focus, Citadel. I think we had some side quests on some of the other, on some of the other planets, but I don't remember what they were off the top of my head, and I'm also not sure if we actually did or not, so I'm gonna stick to my plan and go to the Citadel and walk around. Message coming in. Patching it through. Commander Shepard, my name is Nasana Dantius. I have a job for you. I can't say anymore in an unsecured communication. If you're interested in hearing my offer, meet me on the Citadel so we can talk in person. I'll be waiting in the Diplomat's Lounge on the Presidium. get off my ship <laughs> I don't think that's the way where's the door not in there over here There's a little symbol on the mini-map, so I'm gonna assume yes. Ah, that's why that door wouldn't open earlier, because it would have ejected me into space. Okay, so I think a lot of you guys recommended having strong biotic, or having at least someone with biotic abilities. Oh, no, tech. Someone with tech abilities, because that way I can hack into things. So I should always have a tech person with me. Um, and then, and then, eh, we're just walking around the Citadel. Probably doesn't really matter who I have. Equalizing interior pressure with exterior atmosphere. Logged. The commanding officer is ashore. Exo Presley has the deck. Oh, nice. Rear Admiral Mihailovic, Fifth Fleet. Commander Shepard, SSV Normandy. You don't know who I am, do you, Commander? I command the 63rd Scout Flotilla. You and the Normandy were slated for my unit after shakedown. Then the Council got their paws, claws, tentacles, whatever. They got them on our ship and you. I still serve the Alliance, sir. As a Spectre, I can advance our interests to the Council. <laughs> you still know what color your blood is, Shepard? <laughs> I don't begrudge the politician's decision to throw you to the Council. It's an opportunity. Sir. I do begrudge this over-designed piece of tin, though. Do not insult my ship! The Normandy is a fine ship, sir. She's served us well so far. It's a gimmick, Commander. Useless in a stand-up fight. This experiment diverted billions from our appropriations bills. For the same price, we could have had a heavy cruiser. But no. We had to make nice to the Turians, throw money at a co-developed boondoggle. I'm here to make an inspection, Commander. Normandy is an Alliance warship. I intend to see she's up to snuff. <laughs> I really want to say I don't think so. You come over here, being all macho, insulting my ship! I don't want him walking around putting grubby paws all over her. I'm sure you'll find everything in order, Admiral. I'll just bet. Wait here, I won't be long. Oh, I don't trust him. I don't trust him for one second! Commander, I'm not happy. What did you find out of order? 
Who designed that CIC? Putting the commander aft of everyone else is inefficient. What if he needs to discuss with the operators toward the bow? Ah, fuck. I agree, sir. But I don't see what my crew can do about it. That's something you fix in dry dock. No, Commander. That's something you get right the first time. I had to shake my head at that drive core of yours. 120 billion credits of element zero to make this thing able to move without giving itself away. You realize we could make drive cores for 12,000 fighters with that money? What good is it to hide for a few hours anyway? Use Finally! We can loiter in an enemy system and monitor traffic, or drop infiltration teams on enemy worlds. Normandy could be more effective than the Solarian STG. Maybe, maybe. But that's not the job of a proper warship. Oh my god! We're supposed to find and kill the enemy fleet, not count how many times their garrison goes to the bathroom. And we need to talk about your crew, Commander. Oh, do not talk about my crew. Krogan? I will fight oh, sorry. you. Turians? What are you thinking, Commander? You can't allow alien nationals free access to Alliance equipment. Ah! Uh, I hate that! Oh! Let me use these two! Fuck! I don't want to say any of those! The simple fact is, I'm also part of the Council's chain of command now. They expect a joint effort. I'm providing one. The Council expects a whole hell of a lot from the Alliance, Commander. They better start giving back real damn soon. This fucking you have guy. anything else to say, Commander? Any other justifications for the state of this vessel? None, sir. Very well. Your opinions have some merit, Commander. I'll take them into consideration when I write my report to the Joint Military Command. Not that I expect them to do anything about it. Too many interest groups have too much money invested in this. Commander Shepard. Really regretting the fact that I saluted him when I first talked to him. Now that you have really got to focus my points or focus my Paragon Renegade so I can do those position. more. Fighting a rogue specter with countless Oops, lives sorry. at stake and no regulations to get in the way? I'd say that beats CSEC. I am unsure how the imminent destruction of all organic life beats anything, but your enthusiasm is comforting nonetheless. These are my two besties. I love them. I love them so much. Commander Shepard? Kalisa been seen in Al Jalani, Westernland News. That Would you answer name. a few questions for our viewers? Uh oh, this is gonna be bad. What do you want to know? You've been given a unique position to represent our race. People want to get a sense of how you'll do that. Humans have been trying to get the respect of the galactic community for 26 years. With that in mind, what are your feelings on being the first human specter? The specters represent the best of every species in the galaxy. To be asked to join them is an honor. Some have said your appointment is the Citadel throwing humans a bone. Have you encountered any situations where the Citadel asked you to place its needs before the needs of Earth? The Council is concerned with the needs of the whole galactic community. We're part of that community now. Our needs are on their agenda, but we're one of many. You really do believe that, don't you? You've been given command of an advanced human warship for your missions. Is there anything you'd like to say about it? She's a fine ship. <laughs> Time to shoot you up. <laughs> Actually, the Normandy was co-developed by human and Turian engineers. Its design incorporates many innovations, all of which are classified, I'm afraid. So the Turians have knowledge of the Normandy that is being kept secret from the Alliance public? Do you think it was appropriate to hand Earth's most advanced warship over to the Citadel? <sighs> The Normandy has only been loaned to the Citadel. It's a legal technicality that allows me to use her in my new role as Spectre. So this was only to help you in your new job working for the Citadel. Oh god, this is ending so badly. Given your recent experiences, <laughs> do you think humanity will ever get the respect it deserves from the galactic community? I feel like all my words are going to be so 
got twisted. This is like a Rita Skeeter moment. It's inappropriate for an active duty officer to publicly comment on politics. Good answer! One last question, Commander. Rumors back home say you're tracking a rogue specter named Saren. Do you have any comment on that? Do I give the information? I mean, he's a bad guy. What do we care? Yeah, fuck it. Saren instigated the attack on our colony at Eden Prime. Once his involvement was proven to the Council, I was assigned to bring him in. That's surprising, Commander. The official line says Oops. Eden Prime was attacked by rogue synthetics. Good luck in your mission. <laughs> I Thank probably you shouldn't have said that Commander much. Shepherd. Well, that probably wasn't the greatest interview ever, but that's okay. What's this? What's that little green dot on the minimap? Okay, how do I see Requisition Office? What are you? Requisitions. So is that like a merchant? Traffic control. CSEC offices. All right, we'll go to this requisition office first. I feel like it's gonna take me three videos just to explore this citadel. Can I steal your shit? I cannot. What do you do? One sec, looking you up. Hello, Commander. Show me what you've got. So you're a merchant. Sounds good. Just let me set you up. Well, oh, this must be a mistake. System's telling me to offer you our select stock. Spectre? Well, I heard about that, but I didn't realize it was you. Sorry, Commander. No problem. Just show me what you've, you've got. You've never met me before. I'll open the rare stocks for you, Commander. Enjoy. Okay. Sniper rifle, not gonna use it. We don't have any money. Oh, we do. We have $14,000. We only need a shit ton more. Oh, that shotgun would be nice. So in theory, I could sell... Well, I feel like I shouldn't. Because I know that, like, technically I'm more of, like, a in-your-face kind of combat gal with this, the type of character I made. But I also feel like I shouldn't sell my assault rifle or my sniper rifle, my assault gun or my sniper rifle, because you never know when they'll come in handy, even if that's, like, not my specialty. You know what I mean? I also don't know... Why didn't that sell? How do I do... How do I use these things? Mechanical augmentation increases the brute strength of the wearer. I don't even see where I can put those on. I have a different type of ammos, too. I don't know how to do any of that. Oh, buy back. I did sell it. I just got shit for it, apparently. Okay. I don't know, like... Should I be selling things? Should I be making them into Omnigel? Grenades, biotic, yeah, see, I don't know. I don't know. I still have so much to learn. All right, so now. Let's check out the CSAC offices and traffic control, which I think is just straight across here. Any computers here I can interact with? Oh yes, yes there are. Skill too low. Oh. Did you know Citadel Security is the largest multi-species law enforcement agency in Council space? Can I make... Oops. Shit. How do I... Oh god. Oh god. Put your gun away! Okay, Jaleed. Let me get this straight. Your business partner, Shorban, 
He's threatened you? Well, no, uh, not exactly. But he wants to meet with me. I think he's going to kill me. And why do you think that? I... I can't really get into the details. But Shorbin will kill me if I leave here unprotected. I can't help you. Not unless you give me something more to go on. I... I can't. I'm sorry. Why can't you? Hey there! Oh, you're not CSEC, are you? Did you want something? What were you trying to explain to the officer before? My colleague is trying to kill me, and I thought we were friends. How do you know he wants you dead? He's changed. Ow. He won't talk to me at work anymore, <laughs> and he started following me. Yesterday, he followed me all the way home, just waiting for a chance. Did you do something shady? I don't care what anyone thinks. He wants me gone. I know it. Is there something I can do? Uh, talk to your friend, maybe? Would you? That's all I want. Someone to talk to him. Tell him to leave me alone. He thinks he can just push me around, but you'll show him, won't you? Just tell me where he is and I'll go find him. Oh, right. Well, he wanted to meet with me down in the wards near the markets. He said he just wanted to talk, but I know better. His name's Shorbin. He's a Salarian. You shouldn't have any trouble. He's just a scientist. Some scientists can be very dangerous. Um, I suppose you're right. Well, good luck. Let me know what he said. I feel like there's more to this story. Like, did you steal something? Or did you make something that he didn't agree with? Like a weapon? So how do I... Do I improve my tech skill? I... Uh... Okay, we've got one more for charm we can do, so we're gonna do that. Um, we're gonna put some more into our shotguns, because those shits need help. Holy shit, we got a lot of points for her. Alright. How do I improve my tech skill? Sniper assault trainings. Decryption? That's probably what I need, right? I don't really know, but <gasps> can use electronic skill on easy objects. Can use electronic skill on average objects. Is this what I actually need? Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> that could be cool. I don't know what that is, but that could be cool. Temporarily disables enemy biotics and tech within a certain radius. Oh, we've had that done to us. That would definitely be nice. Accuracy. I wanna... Since I don't know if it's electronics or decryption that I need, I'm just throwing points in both. Yeah, sure, why not? <laughs> I have no fucking idea. Oh man, sorry scientists. What are your stuff for down here? Recharge time, health restored. All right. Uh, put three in here. 
creates a vortex. Um. Yes, please. What is stasis? Makes the target unable to move or attack. the worst at assigning points and trying to figure out, especially when it's my first time playing a game or a game from a series. So you guys are probably like, why would you put those there? It's, you know, I gotta learn through trial and error, okay? <laughs> Codex stuff. Codex stuff. I don't think I can go through here, though, can I? Oh, it looked like a glass wall. It's not. That is. Can't do anything there. Okay. Should I go do that side mission? Is that... Oh my god, so many things. Okay, what is this? So I do have a lot of side stuff. You found an OSD containing information about Fist's illegal activities. Someone will likely want to get their hands on this information. Deliver the OSD. Who do I deliver it to, though? Head to the sentry system. So I do have a lot of things to travel to. You found the dead bodies of men who served under Admiral Kahoku. Return to the Citadel Tower. Okay, so I can do that. Keep looking for more. Keep searching until you find all the, the writings. So these are more collectible things. Speak to Asana in the Embassy Lounge. Talk to Torben. Can I track these? I wish I could track them. All right, so I don't know who I deliver this to. A reporter might be interested. All right, so I need to find a reporter, I guess. Let's just see if I can hack this terminal now. Decryption skill, so it is decryption. Okay. Working hard or hardly Hello, working? Commander. We're just gonna keep wandering. All right, let's see, map. So we did the CSEC offices. What is this? To lower wards, to docking bay, to presidium. So we wanna go, let's do the lower wards cause I know we have that one side mission there. A Solarian excavation team has run into an unexpected problem after unearthing a Prothean dig site. Hanar protesters have blockaded the dig site, claiming that artifacts of the Enkindlers, as the Hanar call them, should not be disturbed. The excavation team has appealed to Hanar representatives on the Citadel to reach a diplomatic solution. Like extra net terminal. Hey, I know you. You're Shepard, right? I was on Mindwar during the Blitz. Saw you on the vids when you got your medal. You saved the whole colony. Looks like you have a fan. I'm sorry. I just never thought I'd meet someone like you in person. Uh, my name's Lang, Officer Eddie Lang, Citadel Security. It's an honor to meet you, Commander. What are you doing down here in the wards? Anything I can help you with?
Why'd you join Citadel Security? I don't know. Seemed like the right thing to do, you know? Maybe it's in my blood. My grandfather was a cop back on Earth. It's kind of what CSEC is. Police for the Citadel. I'm still Makes pretty sense. new at it, but I like it so far. Way more interesting than staying back on Earth. You get to meet all kinds of cool aliens. Like those Hanar. Wild. Plus, CSEC gets a lot of respect here. We uphold the law. People, even aliens, appreciate that. How do you like working here on the Citadel? This place is amazing. I've been here almost a year, and I still haven't seen a tenth of it. The Presidium's just so beautiful. Good place to go and relax. But I really like it here down in the wards. There's always something going on somewhere. Like that new club they just opened a few months ago, Flux. Wicked scene in there, Commander. You should check it out when you have some time. Is that where Fist was? What do you know about Spectres? Just the stuff they show in the vids. They always make them out to be super agents on secret missions to save the galaxy. I know it's not really like that, though. It's kind of like that. Some of the other guys don't like them too much. Figure they shouldn't be able to operate outside the law. But if they were so bad, the Council wouldn't use them, right? Do you know a CSEC officer named Harkin? I shouldn't really say too much. He's been on the force a lot longer than me. But I've heard things, you know? Drinking on the job, taking bribes, that kind of thing. Rumors mostly, but they suspended him, so some of it must be true. I have to go. Right. You're probably real busy. Well, see you around, Commander. Yeah, real busy exploring. Whoa! Where am I now? <gasps> okay. So I guess we'll go this way first because that looks like there's less over here. Oh, her dress is cute. Excuse me. Um, we're gonna buy that. It's really freaking cool. It's way bigger than it than I pictured it in my head. Ah, what? Oh, that's because that's a wall. There is a door though. Garrus, what are you doing? If you feel lucky, we should visit the casino over in Flux. Why are you just chilling here, my guy? I never properly thanked you for saving me from Fist's thoughts, You're welcome. Commander. I don't know what would have happened if you hadn't been there. I'm just glad you weren't hurt. Me too. Now, was there anything you needed? You're a doctor. How did you end up here on the Citadel? My parents brought me here when I was young. My father was a medic with the Alliance. I chose to keep the medical tradition alive, but not the military. Fixing up wounded soldiers isn't my idea of fun. Um, I don't think I'll I need supplies. Now. Goodbye, Commander. Nice so the little green dots are merchants. That's good to know. We figured something out, at least. <laughs> Every time I learn something, I... Is that free? Every time I, I learn something, I realize there's 10,000 other things that I still need to learn. <laughs> it's like... What's that phrase? The, the more I learn, the less I know, or something like that? Because you realize that you still have so much to learn. As you're learning, it opens up more pathways and more branches of things to discover. It kind of creeped me out for a second. Commander Shepard? Excuse me, Commander Shepard! I'm Emily Wong. I'm a journalist investigating corruption on the Citadel. Where do they you get their clothes? I want them. Fist, reportedly a member of some sort of organized crime ring. Did you find any evidence in his office? Is there anything you can share with me? Would these help? These OSDs might have the information you're looking for. <sighs> You've got this files? This could be even bigger than I'd hoped. You're welcome. Here, Commander, for your trouble. Thanks. Now, if you'll excuse me, I should go see what's on these discs. 
All right, that was easy. Uh, I was trying to do the other one, but that's okay. Apparently that dress is very in vogue on the Citadel because every female is wearing it. What's going on here? You in trouble? I don't think you bought this here. I don't sell this model. Look, I know it was you. I remember your face. Really, that's impressive. Usually you humans can't tell one Turian from another. This was the place. Now are you gonna give me a refund or not? <laughs> we have your proof of purchase. What? No, no, I, I, I don't think you ever gave me one. Oh, I'm sorry. I can't. But, what were you? Can't help you. <laughs> Best place on this ward to buy upgrades. Hello, Earth Clan. No doubt you've just come back from the colonies. Will you be needing supplies? What colonies are you talking about? Oh, my mistake, Earth Clan. I assumed it doesn't matter. Pharos? Novaria? Well, if you haven't heard of them yet, I'm sure you will soon. But it doesn't matter where you hail from. My goods are available to all. What can you tell me about Novaria? The corporate capital of the Attican Traverse. Very cold. Very snowy. I don't get too many clients from there. They all have their own private suppliers. I do say that like it was sketchy. I'd like to know more about Pharos. It's an old Prothean world. Their buildings still litter the surface. The humans aren't the first to colonize it, but they are the most recent. Hmm. I just realized I haven't heard from my contact on that planet for some time. Ah, uh, well, I'm sure he's fine. Are you sure about that? I should be going. As you say, Earth Clan, good day to you. Is that really? You're Commander Shepard, the hero of Eden Prime. I am so honored to meet you. Nice to meet We're you. A big deal. And you are? My name is Conrad. Conrad Werner. They say you killed more than a hundred Geth on Eden Prime. Leave me alone. I spent most of my time <laughs> trying to stay alive and help the colonists. Hey, I know you're probably busy, but um, do you have time for a quick autograph? Anything for my fans? Anything for a fan. Here. Thanks. I really appreciate it. My wife is going to be so impressed. <laughs> I'll let you get back to work. Oh, but next time you're on Earth, I'd love to buy you a drink. Thanks again. You're welcome. Okay, wasn't this where that side quest was supposed to be? Maybe it's this exclamation point over here. Uh, it's been a minute since we've saved, and if this is actually that quest, it's probably gonna lead to a shootout, so. Oh, yeah, Torben, there you are. Hello, sir. Hold it right there. Just throw me the data and you can walk away. What data? What are you talking about? I didn't come out to play games with you, human. I'll ask you one more time. Why did his voice Give change like that? And you and that was weird. And live to see another day. There's no need to let things get out of hand. Fine. Have it your way. Boys? Ugh. Moment of truth. Do you remember how to play with the combat? I give up. I give up. Please don't kill me. What's so important about this data? Why are you trying to get it? I thought you knew. He said you were going to deliver it. And what exactly was I supposed to be delivering? It's the initial data from scanning the keepers. You see, we stole some research from our work to make the scanners. We were supposed to work together. I get the data, he analyzes it. What's so special about that? The keepers are almost impossible to scan, and you can't capture them or get samples. They just self-destruct. After centuries here, we still don't know anything about them. Don't you see? 
We were the first to scan them, ever. Why are you trying to kill your partner? I'm not trying to kill him. Jaleed's job was to disseminate our initial findings. But he decided to keep the data for himself. Maybe to sell it. I don't know. Sigh. <laughs> so you're just trying to get back what Jaleed already stole. I knew it! We lost our heads. We just couldn't let an opportunity like this pass us by. But it doesn't matter now. I just want to live. I don't care if I ever see that data again. So how do you gather data on the Keepers? It's not difficult, really. Just get within range and scan them. You seem interested. Enough to help me, perhaps? How could I help you? I'll give you my scanner. Ooh! I'm intrigued! Whenever you see a Keeper, scan it. Discreetly. My database will update automatically each time you scan a unique Keeper. Then I'll update your account with a few credits. I suppose a little scanning here and there won't hurt anyone. Is this like a shady thing I shouldn't be doing? Maybe if you wouldn't mind speaking with Jaleed. The data you're gathering for me is useless if Jaleed won't help me analyze it. Why is... Is this illegal? <laughs> I'll go have a chat with him right now. Thank you. Why does this feel illegal? Happy scanning, Commander. Ah, yeah, shit. Hello there. Welcome to Moreland's famous shop. You want many good supplies, yes? Goodbye. No, thanks. I probably do, but yes, I don't know right what then. I want. Good so. tidings to you, human. So we're gonna skip that. The lower markets. Chores den. I do think there were... Things in there that I could have opened that I didn't. But I don't know if I care enough right now to go back there. But fuck it, we're here. Let's go. I feel like I haven't even remotely scratched the surface of what there is to find in the Citadel. Harkin. I thought there were- oh, were these up? Yeah, I was gonna say, I'm pretty sure I passed something that I was gonna come back to and I never did. Take off. That's probably worth it. I don't even know what I got from there, but we got a decent amount, so worth it. person of the dance. Thank you. <laughs> oh shit, there's things running around on there. By running around, I mean driving. On tracks. <laughs> it's like test track. Alright. So we need to go back up to that other dude. And see what he has to say for himself. We came this way. It's a bank statement. Are these people I can help out? Oh, 
shit. It doesn't seem illegal, but it felt illegal when we were talking about it. But that didn't, you know, seem like an issue. <laughs> I don't know. I'm breaking the law! Although I'm a specter, so technically, can I do what I want? Did I come from this way? Oh, shit. What happens if they catch me? I don't know. This exploration of Prothean culture, this must be like a survey for you, Liara. Our travels now are somewhat different from my normal excavations. I would prefer lengthier studies and fewer explosions. The loss of all this Prothean technology is just one more thing Saren will have to pay for. This seems right. This definitely is not right. Hey, you're the shepherd kid. Oh wait. I don't know. I don't know. Whatever. Hey, been a long time, huh? Zebalet, I don't know. I'm who you sorry. Are. Do we know each other? Well, I, I guess you don't remember me, Lieutenant Zabaleta. I, I worked with your mother. Nailed it. <laughs> we served on the carrier Einstein. Well, that was 12, 13 years back, though. You were just a kid then. I didn't see her much that tour. The ship was on patrol most of the time. Hey, call your mom up and ask. She'd remember old Zabaleta. She'd vouch for me. Look, I need a favor. I'm kind of short on money these days. I hate hitting you up for money, but a man's got to eat, right? So, could you spare something? Maybe 20 credits. Twenty isn't enough to get you back on your feet, is it? No, no, no. I, I'll well, just get a, a meal. You know. He probably is just a drunk, but you know what? If that's how yeah, he wants to live his life, not a problem. I got twenty to spare. Kid, you know that? Thanks. You ever want to come by and talk? I'll be here. Huh? <laughs> Can't afford a ticket home, right? Whatever. No skin off my back. Posting at the academy. It's good. Busy, though. I can't believe how many people you get coming in from the wards. Presidium? Okay, I'm totally not going the right way. In the slightest! Why did I say that like frickin' Chandler Crane? Flux Casino? Oh, we definitely have not been here. This is totally not where I needed to go to turn this quest in, but... But I don't know where I made the wrong the wrong turn, so we're just gonna continue on our merry way. <laughs> Coming up in a report later today, Emily Wong investigates corruption on the Citadel and uncovers a full blown crime syndicate. Hmm. That didn't take her long to sift through that information. Oh, my legs are getting stuck to my chair. <laughs> Don't mind this peeling skin off of the leather. The embassy's in CSEC. Oh, wait. Okay, so this works. We want to go to CSEC, right? Oh. Scan. There's one over there. This is like what I picture Epcot wanting to look like. There's lots of Disney references today. Oh, she knew. She knew I scanned it. She's blowing me in. I wonder if I have enough charm points to help that guy get his 
What was it? His wife's body? I think it, he was at CSEC, wasn't he? Oh god. Who knows now? They have a different fashion sense up here. It's like... Different... Different, uh... Social classes have different styles. Binary Helix has settled out of court with a Krogan group that had accused the Genetics Corporation of fraud. The Krogan group had contracted Binary Helix to perform studies with a long-range goal of curing their genetic sterilization. The group later sued for a return of investment money when the study produced no viable results. So... The only race we don't have on our ship right now is a Solarian, right? Will we get a Solarian? These guys, those are Solarians? Jaleed, got some splaining to do. Hello again. Did you have any luck finding Shorbin? I found out you've been lying to me, Jaleed. Lying? Why would I lie to you? You forgot to mention the data about the Keeper. Uh, he told you? I didn't mean for any of this to happen. I was afraid Shorbin would kill me to get the data, so I... Well, I was hoping you'd take care of him. I'm scanning the Keepers for Shorbin. But you two need to stop fighting. You're... You're helping us? But... Well, if you say so. Well, if Shorbin can forgive and forget, then so can I. I appreciate the help, Commander. I better go get that data analyzed. <laughs> uh, okay. So now old unhappy far off things. If you wanted to confirm Zabaleta's story, you could easily contact your mother using the Normandy's FTL com room. Okay, we'll do that when we go back in the ship. Five out of twenty, not too bad. You probably haven't seen the last of Conrad. What harm could there be in talking with him if you meet him again? Why is that shady now? Should I go? I don't know if I can... do anything new with that, though. I really like the fact that the people we have with us of the Parliament subcommittee actually on human studies has been kidnapped by biotic extremists. The biotics commandeered a freighter and were last seen in the Hades Gamma Cluster. No demands have yet been made. Actually interact with the world and like are included in the conversations. I feel like a lot of times in games when you work with well, okay, a lot of times I really don't have much experience with this, but like okay, Skyrim <laughs> for example, you have your NPC with you that follows you around and helps you out and fights and stuff, but they like don't exist when you're doing anything with actual story stuff. But these ones are actually written in, which is really cool. I don't remember where. Oh, there's a little exclamation point up here. I don't remember where that guy was for his wife. Are you in there? Oh, I bet that's that one quest that we got. Oh, was he over here? This looks familiar. This could be where he was. All right, so I need to try to talk to the guy up here 
to see if I can get that body released. I don't know if I have enough charm points yet. Let's... We got we got some good charm. We got some good charm going. This guy. Hello again, Commander. Can I help you? I understand what you're trying to do, but holding the body is wrong. Commander, you of all people should understand how far we must go to protect humanity. I do, and you're wrong. <laughs> Not if we lose our humanity in the process. I am out here fighting to stop crap like this. All right, Commander. You yes! Won. It was hard enough refusing Mr. Batia. I'm not going to risk an incident by refusing you. Mm -hmm. Tell Samesh that the body is being shipped back to Earth. I'll go now to see to it myself. Listen, you have other bodies. You don't need hers. Good. Commander Shepard, I am Nasana Dantius. I see you got my message. It sounded like you needed some help. I do. My sister Dahlia is a crewman on the cargo vessel operating out beyond the fringes of the Traverse. Her ship was attacked by privateers. There were no reported survivors. <laughs> That's too bad. I'm sorry for your loss. This is where it gets complicated. Last week, I received a message with her voice on it. Dahlia is alive. The rest of the crew was killed, but she was taken prisoner. The slavers demanded a huge ransom from me in exchange for returning her unharmed. That seems a little suspicious. Why didn't the raiders kill Dahlia along with everyone else? Right. My sister probably told them who she was. My family's very wealthy, Shepard. They must have realized she was worth more to them alive. You'd better pay! Coming up with the ransom seems like the best way to ensure Dahlia's safety. That's what I thought. I did what they wanted, transferred the funds to the account they specified. Only they never released her. They haven't contacted me Oh, she me is since. in on it. I've made a terrible mistake, Shepard. I'm a diplomatic emissary. By law, I'm required to report any attempted extortion to CSEC immediately. But I was afraid for Dahlia, so I just paid the ransom. Now she's still missing. And if anyone finds out what I did, I could end up in jail. Why would they put you in jail? You're the victim here. Government representatives on the Citadel are not allowed to negotiate with terrorists. It's too dangerous. Paying a ransom would only encourage more kidnappings. I support the law in theory, but when I got the message, all I could think about was Dahlia's safety. I doubt they would actually send me to prison for what I did, but they would strip me of my post, and Dahlia would still be in the hands of the slavers. You want me to find her and bring her back? You only need to bring her back. I've already found her for you. I tracked the ransom payment through several accounts. Eventually, it led to a small mercenary band operating out of the Artemis Tau Cluster. I need you to go to the Merc base, take them out, and bring my sister back. You shall be well rewarded. Her sister is 100% in on this. Her sister is just trying to find a way to make money. So she is a part of that band and she or is maybe even the leader I don't freaking know but that is not there's no way she's the only one who survived and then just didn't get really I don't know anything you can tell me about the mercs who have your sister pretty much what you'd expect rough dangerous and well armed nothing a specter cannot handle though how'd you find out who was behind the ransom I have resources Contacts and credits can go a long way, especially if you're willing to bend the rules. I already broke the law when I paid the ransom. This couldn't make things any worse. I mean, they always get worse when you say that. Can't you hire someone else to do this? I do not want to take chances with my sister's life. I need a specter. Besides, you operate outside official channels. My superiors cannot find out I never reported the ransom in the first place. Don't worry. I'll bring your sister back. Thank you, Shepard. I knew you were the right woman for the job. Come back and see me when the job is done. What if she doesn't want to come back, and what if we have to kill her? That's a little Ako Taco. This place seems strange. Where's the more humans? Ew, then go to Earth. 
Yeah, no, no time for you. So they finally did it. I knew one of your kind would make Spectre one day. Why did you come to see me, Shepard? Did Ambassador Udina send you? I don't even know who you are. I could just talk to you, so I did. No, but I know you well enough. I'm Executor Palin, head of CSEC. And you're the first human Spectre. Get used to people knowing who you are. At least around here. Tell me about CSEC. CSEC provides necessary police and security services throughout the Citadel. We're a civilian government agency, though many of our members have had military training. And unlike the Spectres, we work within the bounds of the law. I don't like your attitude, sir. What do you know about the Spectres? They're the right hand of the Council, or so they like to be called. Or like the underhanded side of the Council. <laughs> what do you have against the Spectres? I can't abide any organization that considers itself above the law. Especially when it's left up to each individual Spectre to decide when and how to bend the rules. It's a fair point. It really is. Can't be mad at him about that. I get the feeling you're not too fond of humans. No, I just don't trust your kind. Not yet. You humans are eager to take all the power you can get. And you're being given a lot. If the Council wants to make humanity their new favorite pet, that's their business. But I don't have to like it. I'll be going now. Goodbye, Commander. Yeah, bye. Nothing more to say to you. I think I already did that over there. I gotta go back to this guy and tell him about his wife. I feel like I actually did something right, you guys. I did it! Hello again, Commander. Has there been any word? She's coming I reminded home. Mr. Bosker what we're fighting for. Your wife is coming home. Thank you. I will return home and begin my preparations. It does not bring me happiness, but it may bring me peace. Mm. Goodbye, Commander. All right, guys, I'm going to stop there. I think we probably have one more video of Citadel exploration because I, like I said, I don't think, I don't think I've even scratched the surface. Um, but we are getting a lot of new side quests that will be nice to be able to do when we get back on the Normandy. So good progress, even though not main story progress, but it doesn't seem like any of you guys mind that. So that's great. Um, loving even the side quests I'm loving. I love how there's just like so much underhandedness. You're not quite sure who you can trust. You're like, I know there's more to this story. Uh, and it's kind of like that balancing act of do I care that there's more that I'm not aware of? Do I not care? And just kind of like a whole lot of just gut feeling that <laughs> it's probably going to get me in trouble at some point, but it's just really cool. It just shows you how well written even the smallest of characters are uh, because of that J J J Jaheel, the little dude that we helped out. Um, I just, I was like, I get it. I get a bad feeling about him. I feel like there's more to this. And then sure enough, there was, but in the end, it really wasn't that big of a deal. Um, and the, the Z Zabalita guy, I'm like, clearly there's more here, but do I really care? It's 20 credits. I don't know. Like, so it's one of those things where you're like, I know I'm not getting the full answer, the full truth from any of these people, but is it okay still? Do I care enough? And it's, it just really just, like I've said already, goes to show how well written all of these characters are, all of this lore is, the whole game is. Obviously I have a lot of codex entries uh, to listen to and to read through. I might do those next video, but it kind of depends how much more of the Citadel I have to explore because I don't want to read the codex and then get a bunch more. I'd rather just do it all in one chunk. So that way if people aren't interested in reading the codex or listening to the codex, they can just fast forward once instead of having to constantly um, skip around. So. Uh, hopefully I'll have time to go through that at the end of next video. But I'm having a lot of fun exploring the Citadel. Thank you guys for telling me that I can walk everywhere. I don't have to take the fast travel. Really appreciate that. And thank you guys for pointing out that there are a ton of side quests here because I never would have known uh, because that's not necessarily something that's obviously 
explained to you. So thank you guys for all of your help with that as well. I hope you enjoyed this little offshoot exploration video. We did a couple side quests. We got a bunch of new lore and a bunch of new things to do when we go back onto the Normandy that are going to be a lot of fun. So I hope you enjoyed that as well. If you did, please make sure you subscribe to the channel, hit that bell button when you do so that you know when I post future videos. And as always, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it and I hope you have an amazing day.